Greetings and salutations, folks. I'm Josh from Lazy Acres. Thank you for tuning in. We are saving the world here one trailer at a time. Today, we're going to take a look at our first 2024 Flagstaff Microlight, model number 25 FBLS, weighs 5,600 pounds. It's got a massive rear bathroom, a great living space on it with a separate bedroom with a wardrobe slide, tried and true floor plan. This one's gonna have you drinking vinegar and eating sawdust. I'm here with my friend, that Dutch bad boy, Brendan Hannemeyer on the camera today. Say hello, Brendan. What's going on, happy campers, future campers, and fellow salespeople? Thank you so much for tuning in to the number one RV YouTube channel in the world. You should hit that like and subscribe button because this has been a very special video. The first video we've had two Allen boys in the shot. We had Josh's brother going around in the background there. If you move it back, blue sweater, cute looking kid. We're also on Instagram, we're on TikTok, and we're on Facebook doing shorter videos there. You should follow us along as well. You know, Brennan, 15, 16 years ago, that was me looking cute in the background, <laughs> yeah. washing trailers. We got our front power jack, 30 pound of paint tanks, battery in a box location in through there. Great looking front fiberglass cap, right? That really, you know, cuts through the air. It's not going to distort or change on you. You got a windshield there in the front. If you look closely, you can see the lights are on inside there right now. Nice, you know, brow light. Not too many changes here on the exterior. Little but change here. This never used to be like bordered out. You're right. Which You're I right, like. Brandon. And then this additional bit of fiberglass here has like, uh, what would you call this? Magnum color? Magnetic. Magnetic silver? Gray. Magnetic gray in through there. Massive pass through storage all the way there to the other side. I like how these are barn style doors. They open up to the side like that. They're magnetized. New for 2024 is they put the slam latches on here as well. We're gonna have our city water connection, antifreeze inlet, fresh water fill. There's a table here for the exterior of the trailer on the door side. That's this guy. A little bit of a skinny cupboard right here. What's going on with that? Must be uh, access to the water pump or something like water that. Water filters. Right yeah. In there. Yeah, you're probably right, buddy. But this is all really nice cabin doors. New hardware for this year too. Four manual stabilizer jacks. We have our secondary uh, sewer drain there. Our main sewer drain here. 14 inch aluminum rims, Goodyear tires in through here, and a little bit of bonus storage, just a skinny one. But it's tall, Brandon, goes all the way up there to, to the inside. Put your fishing poles in through there, pool right. cues, wash brushes, right? And then like I said, nice slam lodge doors here, new for this year. 30 empty attachable style cord, cable saddle and inlet. And then here at the back side, we got our full size spare. We're gonna put a beautiful lazy acre tire cover on there for you. Uh, class three receiver. That's just meant for carrying like a bike rack or a storage tote, that kind of thing there. It is good for 300 pounds, downward pressure, roof ladder. Get up on your roof, check your seals every day, every 90 days, pardon me. It's a one piece roof, which is just how I like my grandmother's bathing suits. We have an outside uh, shower in through here. It used to be an outside spray port. That's good in through there. And then here on the door side, we have our electric awning starting at the back, going all the way forward, running all the way forward. Uh, LED lights in the awning, outside speakers, an outside receptacle. This is where the table's gonna go on the outside. This is where the outside griddle's gonna go. Six gallon gas electric water heater right there's your furnace vent. Frameless windows all the way around. Range hood vent right in through there. And then right here is the other side of our pass through storage. Now, Brendan, we're gonna have some cool things to do with these tables when we get inside, eh? Can't wait. All right, we'll do that. We got the slide out close. So let's see what kind of travel access we have. Heading inside, you can see we have nice, easy access here to the washroom. We have great access here to the fridge. We can get to our couch and the rest of our kitchen, but we cannot get to our bedroom on the side of the road. Let's get this thing opened up. on folks we're inside that 25 FBLS your first look at the 2024 it's gonna have a lot of familiar things but some really cool updates that we're gonna get to here now we're walking in the main door here we have a spot to hang up our coats which is just killer and then we got this cupboard right here as you walk in too now these are shelves you can remove these you can have this as a pantry or you can have this as a closet however you want to do that probably depends on the weather you're camping in right brennan 100 percent. we got the we rv connection here where we can actually hook up to that with our phone operator slides or lights or awning or those kind of things right from our phone which is killer and right there's your thermostat 
And then here we're into the, the pantrytainment, right? So we're across from the theater seat. This has got some more pantry space there. Our fireplace down here, our 12 volt connects TV facing our theater seat. Uh, looks like it's made like a smart style TV where you can hook up to YouTube or Netflix or do what you want there. Right here is your microwave, okay? Range hood vent, cupboard space here. Now these are all reversed raised panel doors so they're very, very solid. And then this is the new hardware. Very, very nice stuff. Easy to grab hold of, uh, feels comfortable in your hand. More cupboard space in through here. Right here's your charge controller because we have a 200 watt solar panel on the roof coming through that charge controller charging our battery. New bigger inverter now. I was going to say it later, Brandon. Oh, took it from you. Man. <laughs> yeah, so bigger inverter. What size, Brandon? I, I believe, I want to say 1800. You're right. Yeah. 1800 watt inverter in through here. It used to be 1000 watts, which you really, you know, you can do some stuff with, but obviously with 1800 watts, you can do more. Undermount stainless steel sink. Solid surface uh, counters here in the kitchen. Nice black faucet. We've got these drying racks. I split them in two for you to make it easier to sit over top of the sink. And then we got our pop down piece here and then three drawers here down below. Already got the spots there. You don't think they're doing that on every unit, do you? Rocks? No, these are oh. rocks. These are, this is wood putty. Oh, cool. Touch it. That would be slick. I, I don't want to confirm that yet, folks. This one's got a nice little touch-up kit in it, which is a great touch, great touch-up as well. Drawers in through there, glass stove top cover, oven down below, and we got some white lights here, Brandon. Love it. Lovely stuff there. Let's go into the bedroom before we get into the cool couch. We'll get there. 60 by 74 inch uh, bed. We got a drawer in through here, um, a cupboard over here on this side. Covered space across the top. You got that nice front windshield bringing in nice natural light. Makes this whole bedroom feel a lot bigger, less cavernous. Receptacles on both sides. And then, oh, bonus drawer here, Brent. Look at that. Bingo, bango. Nice big pot, uh, sliding door here separating off the bedroom. Here's your wardrobe slide where we have some shelving. Some wardrobe going right across the top. And because you do the wardrobe slide, you don't have to have big, tall wardrobes on either side. It makes it feel more open. Um, uh, let's see here. Oh, that's the bedroom light switch. You don't have to get out of bed, Brandon, and shut the bedroom light off. Perfect. Isn't it like a race in your house to get into bed first? The last yeah. person has to shut the light off. Exactly. Am I right? Yep. <laughs> All right. We got a uh, switch right there for 800 watt inverter that Brandon just stole from me. We have a, uh, a bit of storage here underneath the bed. You'll see this is all finished off with aluminum framing. And then we have three drawers here as well built in underneath our bed. Now let's talk about this couch. This is new. Like the couch itself was the same, but what they added on on this floor plan, when you do the theater seat, they have these anchors here right into the wall with these swivel tables that are adjustable. This is obviously a little bit high right now, but I can adjust this down. I'm watching TV, I'm eating popcorn. If I'm a messy eater, Brendan. You bring it right nice and close. Nice and close, and I'll probably leave it this high. Of course. Right, just put my chin in the cereal bowl and then just trough it in. Give her. Give her. Okay, whose brother is that out there washing trailers in the background? Yours. Golly. <laughs> All right, we got cupboard space here, nice window, and this is another really cool change, Brandon. We have a 12 volt fridge that you can open from either side. So if you're left handed, if you're right handed, it's not going to matter. Pretty slick stuff. Let's say you're coming from the washroom. Exactly. Right, one open it from the left hand side. Freezer does the same thing. It's a Magic Chef fridge. Super killer. That is a really cool feature. And I didn't really mention it, but there is two tables, one on either side of the couch. Now, into the bathroom here, we have a porcelain toilet. Lots of hip space. The dump truck definitely fits in through here. This is the griddle. We should have put this in the pass through storage, but that's okay. Um, we got nice linen closet there. That's like two and a half feet deep in through there. Very, very deep. Covered spot there. Sink. Medicine cabinet right in through here. Arched, jeez, you're in <laughs> nice and close. <laughs> I didn't even shave my neck today. <laughs> Up into the shower. I'm six feet tall. You can tell I fit in the shower quite easily. We've got a shower miser on the shower. We have a fantastic fan standard here in the bathroom. Just a whole lot going on here. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit us up on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok. Leave us a comment down below. Have yourself a good day.